Chapter 749, The Death of Zhuang Wuji, Can. Can someone tell me? Just what the fuck is going on? The black-clothed marshal crawled up from the ground. His mouth full of blood, Zhuang Wuji's loud shout just now had shocked his organs, damaging them. Luckily, Zhuang Wuji hadn't used too much true essence. Otherwise, the black-clothed martial artist would have been grounded to a pulp. The black-clothed martial artist couldn't understand what was happening. What happened to Zhuang Wuji that he became so anxious? Why had he destroyed the transmission array? Was he being chased down by someone? It wasn't just the black-clothed martial artist that thought this. All of the other martial artists present had this thought too. Zhuan Wuji's entire body had been covered with wounds. Not just that, but he had forcefully revolved the energy of a transmission array to speed it up and had destroyed the transmission array in a panicked haste before soaring away. All of this made it seem as if he was truly being chased down by someone. But how could that even be possible? In the entire South Sea, just who had the strength to chase down Zhuan Wuji? As everyone just thought of this, the already destroyed transmission array actually began to shine again. This. This is. The black-clothed martial artist stared with wide eyes. How could someone possibly come out of this transmission array? It was impossible. This transmission array had already been ruined so how could it possibly be used? If someone was still inside when it was destroyed they might lose themselves in the chaotic space turbulence, ripped to shreds by the vast space storm. Bang bang bang. The sound of thunder rumbled in the air. The winds and clouds stirred as the world seemed to lose its color. In a radius of ten miles, all of the surrounding heaven and earth origin energy began to rush toward the center, forming a terrifying tornado. A blazing red beam of light shot into the sky, piercing through heavens. The earth trembled, countless cracks appearing like a spider's web. Is this really a transmission? The black-clothed martial artist's eyes went so wide that they nearly popped out of his head. As for the several other third grade sect martial artists, all of them were completely dumbfounded. This brilliant and beautiful red light reached a crescendo and a scene that they would never forget in their lives occurred right before them. A hundred feet away, the void seemed to fiercely twist together. Then, with a loud thunderclap, half of a red spear appeared in thin air as if it had just torn through the very fabric of space. With this spear, a tear appeared in a world. From this space crack, a blue-clothed youth calmly stepped out. His entire body was wreathed in ghostly flames and sizzling purple electricity. With a red spear in hand, he was like a god of war incarnate. He was. The black-clothed martial artist was completely shocked. Even though the transmission array had been destroyed he had still forcefully completed the transmission. With absolute power, he held up the space channel by himself, forcefully tearing through space with his spear and stepping out like a gust of wind. Was he even human? Although the black-clothed martial artist was only at a Zionshin realm, he could still be considered to be greatly experienced. He had never heard of someone casually tearing apart space and opening a space channel to cross the endless void. Was this youth a divine sea powerhouse? Not. He was too young. At most he seemed. Just over twenty. At a mere twenty some years old. To rip apart space. Could he be a crown prince from the four divine kingdoms? Even a divine kingdom crown prince should not have such strength. The black clothed martial artist head had become a muddled mess. As for the red clothed martial artist. His heart was tumbling with great quakes. Although this youth in front of him had slightly changed in appearance and temperament. He could still see familiar shades in that face. He appeared to be. Lin Ming. As the blue clothed youth appeared he quickly glanced around at the crown. Seeming a bit surprised. But, he soon regained his utter calm and no longer bothered with these juniors. Stepping on golden rock shattering the void, he shrunk the space beneath him, flying towards the far horizon at an alarming speed as he chased behind Zhuang Wuji. The black-clothed martial artist was only able to look helplessly on. Just how many miles had Lin Ming crossed in a single step? It looked no different than if he were teleporting forwards, completely bamboozling anyone that witnessed it. Just what sort of godly movements were that? That was definitely teleportation. Who? Who was that? The yellow-clothed girl's lips shivered. Although that youth didn't look much older than she was, how could he have such strength? He was like a god that descended to earth. He is Lin Ming. The red-clothed martial artist suddenly shouted out, his voice exuberant and filled with respect. Lin Ming? The black-clothed martial artist cried out. From the direction that he flew, he was clearly chasing after Zhuan Wuji. Had Zhuan Wuji been reduced to the state because he was being chased after by Lin Ming? It wasn't just the black-clothed martial artist that realized this but everyone else did too. Rumors said that Lin Ming had been trapped by Zhuan Wuji 300,000 miles under the sea in a trench for over four months. How did the situation suddenly reverse? And Zhuan Wuji ended up being the one chased by Lin Ming instead. The yellow-clothed girl covered her mouth with her hands. Although she had heard stories about Lin Ming's majesty, Xin was believing. After she witnessed Lin Ming today, she realized that the Lin Ming in her mind was far inferior to the true Lin Ming. Quickly report this to the sect. Do not allow the demon envoy to discover this. Do this as quickly as possible. The red-clothed youth shook his head as if he had woken from a dream and quickly sent out a true essence sound transmission to everyone. The other martial artists were stunned. If Lin Ming could chase down Zhuan Wuji. Didn't that mean that there wasn't a single existence in the entire South Sea Demon region that could contend with Lin Ming? Didn't this mean that he would win the South Sea War? Victory? The several third grade sect martial artists were dazed and out of their minds. This was an incomparable distance concept. After the events of the Demon God Imperial Palace, the wartime alliance had suffered defeat after defeat before finally being destroyed. To them, victory had already become a forgotten word. As the several third grade sect martial artists were thinking to report this news to their sect, the South Sea Demon region's black clothed martial artist also felt the same. He had to pass this news to the South Sea Demon Region's branch in the South Horizon region as soon as possible. Like this, before even an incense stick of time passed, several sound-transmitting talismans flared up. 
the news of this monumental event spreading like a tide. Dot. Lin Ming, you. As Zhuang Wuji saw Lin Ming chasing after him once again, his expression greatly changed. How is this possible? I've already destroyed the transmission array so how can he chase me here? Zhuang Wuji could not imagine what Lin Ming had done. This had already surpassed his scope of understanding. Lin Ming remained completely silent. As he held onto his red spear, he pursued after Zhuang Wuji. With every second he closed in more and more. The power of the blood essence that Zhuang Wuji had poured into the mystic thunder wind was already slowly exhausting. In this shifting chase, Lin Ming's speed increasingly surpassed Zhuang Wuji's. Ten miles. Five miles. Three miles. He was already in range of attack. Lin Ming, don't force me. Zhuang Wuji roared out. But at this moment, Lin Ming had already attacked. With a thrust of his spear, space itself twisted. Blazing heat from the burning star flame erupted. As Lin Ming poured his battle spirit into his spear, it became like a blue rainbow, shooting across the endless sky. Bury the heavens. Bang. Zhuang Wuji forcefully blocked this attack but his body shook and a trail of blood dripped down from the side of his mouth. At this time he had already consumed 50 to 60 percent of his remaining true essence. He was now fundamentally incapable of fighting Lin Ming anymore. Lin Ming, I have a great number of the Demon Emperor's secrets in my hands. If you kill me you will never obtain them. The Demon Emperor's secrets? Lin Ming faintly smiled. Zhuang Wuji, I already said before that everything you've pursued your entire life might be trash in the eyes of others. Although the Demon Emperor's relics might be worthwhile to me, it is still a run of the mill treasure. As for killing you, that temptation is greater than any treasure by far. Now die. Law of Annihilation. Chain of Stars. Lin Ming's spear cut straight down, tearing apart space. All of the surrounding heaven and earth origin energy began to restlessly move. Origin energy condensed into tiny fragments, spinning like a chain of stars. With Zhuang Wuji at the center, all these fragments shot towards him. If Zhuang Wuji couldn't dodge these, then his fate was to be pierced by ten thousand arrows. Power of my blood essence, explode. Zhuang Wuji fiercely bit down on his tongue, spitting out even more blood essence. Now, the only thing he had left to rely on was the power of his blood essence. However, just as he spat this blood essence halfway, his face suddenly twisted. After using his blood essence repeatedly, Zhuang Wuji had already damaged the fires of his life. In a situation where his life force was incredibly weak, in addition to the long distance pursuit he had experienced, Zhuang Wuji had finally suffered a backlash, he spat out a mouthful of blood, his heart source injured. No, after his move was stopped midway, Zhuang Wuji no longer had any strength to resist. With his body at the center, countless concentrated fragments of heaven and earth origin energy exploded. Zhuang Wuji miserable screamed as his entire body was soaked in blood, he flew backwards like a deflated bag. In that attack just now, Zhuang Wuji's organs had been damaged in many places and his meridians had been torn to pieces. Lin Ming's eyes filled with a thick killing intent. At this time, he had also used up 40 to 50 percent of the energy in his body. If Zhuang Wuji still had extra strength left over it would have been much more difficult to chase him down and kill him. Bury the heavens. A spear cut out, seeming to split the sky in half. Lin Ming revolved his energy to the limit, stabbing out at the space between Zhuang Wuji's eyebrows, on the verge of death. Zhuang Wuji forcefully twisted his body. He managed to save his vital point but his right arm and shoulder were slashed off by Lin Ming's spear. As his bloody arm spun away, it was suddenly torn to tiny bits by the sharp space fragments before being crushed into nothingness. Although he had escaped this fatal blow, Zhuang Wuji was now a lamp with no more oil. His death was inevitable. Lin Ming spun around, stepping on golden rock shattering the void. He instantly appeared behind Zhuang Wuji, his spear thrusting straight into his back. Die, blood shot out. The red spear ripped apart Zhuang Wuji's protective true essence and stabbed right into his mortal body. Puff, Zhuang Wuji felt an icy coldness at the center of his being, as he looked down. He could see a bloody red spear emerging from his chest. As Zhuang Wuji looked at the blood-stained spear, his eyes turned perfectly round. In that moment, all sounds faded away. With unwillingness filling his very body, he gripped onto that ice-cold spear edge. His face was the color of death and his lips trembled. This spear had not only pierced through Zhuang Wuji's body but also his hopes and ambitions. Lin Ming turned a spear, and battle spirit infused true essence shot into Zhuang Wuji's body like many flying knives. In the next moment, Zhuang Wuji's body burst apart into a mass of ruined meat. Flesh and blood rained onto the forest ground beneath him, like this. A fierce and ambition individual of his era had perished in these nameless mountain wilds. It was finally over. Lin Ming let out a long breath. In five years, Zhuang Wuji had gone from an extreme master that he couldn't even look to, to a miserable man that had become a ghost under the edge of his spear. As for that insufferably arrogant and all-powerful South Sea demon region that had once threatened Divine Phoenix Island, they were now nothing more than dust left behind in the passing of history. Today marked the end of the war against the South Sea demon region. As for those remaining forces, they simply weren't worth mentioning at all. Zhuang Wuji, Lin Ming silently remembered this name. Perhaps a hundred years from now this name might be remembered as only an unimportant figure, but to Lin Ming, the owner of this name was a formidable enemy that had engraved an unforgettable impression on his heart. In order to defeat this enemy, Lin Ming had suffered countless hardships. As he thought about everything he had experienced these past years, Lin Ming's mind filled with a nostalgic sadness, as if all the vicissitudes of life weighed down on him. After he received his long spear, he then discovered that he was actually at the border of the Sky Fortune Kingdom in the Seven Profound Territory. This proud and ambitious Zhuang Wuji had actually died in the Sky Fortune Kingdom. This sort of coincidence seemed ironic. As if it were a part of the cycle of samsara itself. There is no longer anyone in the Sky Fortune Kingdom that I am concerned about. In the dimensions of the giant Leviathan, my parents, you were, and Zingsun should be worrying about me. As Lin Ming thought this out loud, he flew back to the South Sea.